Hello and welcome back. Well, we have now got the credit score tutorial done. Uh, I'm presuming you've gone back and you've watched, you've gone through and done the tutorial yourself, um, tried your numbers, and tried the answers to see if you could, see if you could correct ones. So let's do, let's do a preview of the questions and how to approach them. But when afterward, this is done, this video, you should be able to go, go back and do the questions yourself. So question one, every time I got to do this, let's see, ah, here's a, here is the a pie chart of the FICO scores, again, note there was five items, one, two, three, four, five, history, credit amounts, amount owed, and so forth. So let's see, they're going to ask a bunch of questions, and we got Determine is it including FICO score or is it not including FICO score? So is payment history used to determine FICO score? Payment history. <clears throat> uh, yeah, that's a big one. That's 35%. Yes. Is gender? I don't see male, female, what and so forth. I don't see gender up here. Ethnicity. I don't see them asking if you're Caucasian, Hispanic, African American, American Samoan. So no. Uh, amounts owed used. <clears throat> yep, that's your second biggest hitter. That's a yes. Length of credit history. How long do you have a credit history? Yep. Is income used? Uh, no. <clears throat> Whether you make hundred dollars a week or ten thousand a week doesn't make a difference. He's for FICO. Are new credit accounts used? Yep. And are types of credit used? And all these explanations of what these means are in that FICO website you should have looked at in the previous tutorial. Oh, done, done good. Okay. The amount of person owes determined 30% of the FICO score. When a person uses a large percentage of their credit, it can indicate they are overextended. When this occurs, a person may be at a higher risk for making late payments or missing them all together. Give an example of this. <coughs> if a person has a line of credit of ten thousand dollars and he borrowed and last year borrowed three thousand three times and paid it back in six months. Okay, so he took borrowed three thousand, so basically thirty percent. Um, each time, but he paid it back in six months. Does this person like to have difficulty managing credit? Well, just doing three thousand, so I would say it's not that is not the, the solution. Uh, person currently like ten thousand, and that person currently has borrowed nine thousand, so that's ninety percent. Uh, nothing about paying it back, then that person is likely to have difficult managed credit. That is a possibility to think of, think about that one. A uh, person with currently ten thousand, he has borrowed fifteen hundred, and then that person is likely to have difficult managing credit. Okay, that's only fifteen percent. Um, nothing about paying it back yet, but it's not. A, it's only fifty percent utilization of his credit credit rating. Credit score, credit card, credit utilization. Uh, person has ten thousand dollars, borrow three thousand three times, pay each time back in three months. And that person like to have difficulty. Right, he's only borrow thirty percent per each time, but he pays them back though. So only one that seems to have a hint of difficulty would be this B. Let's see, if we're correct. Yes, we are. Okay. Okay, here's a utilization formula. I went through 
have my if your current limit is 3,000 and your utilization rate is 22, what is the amount charged on your card? Okay, so we're given this number, we're given that number, and we need to find this guy. So 22% becomes 0.22, basically divided by 100. And that's going to be what I'm looking for. What what do I have charged over three thousand dollars? So on this one, do the algebra. And that gives me that x is zero point two two times three thousand. comes to 660 dollars is charged on the card right now which is correct so again here's my utilization rate Here's my credit limit, and what I'm looking for is my credit card balance because that is what we're being asked for. What is the amount charged, which is your credit card balance? Same equation. Now this time it says I owe a forty. I'm utilizing 20% of my credit. Question is, what is the credit limit? <clears throat> Again, 20%. Hmm. 20% equals I have my card balance. And I'm looking for X. So let's say X, I use my proportion ratio algebra here, cross multiply, divide. So let's say X is going to be 840 times 1 over 0 0.28. And that comes out to $3,000. <clears> Looks like you have a 3,000 credit limit on this, this guy. So I'm going to use my formula given to us. Again, this was given. That was given. And this is what I was looking for. And then I just set up the equation in that format. Okay, one way a lender might measure the ability to make payment on loans called a debt to income ratio. Raise all those guys. Debt to income ratio. Uh, the debt, debt to income is the sum of your monthly debt. Okay, some monthly debt. Divided by the amount of money you have earned before taxes and deductions. Okay. Earned before taxes and deduction. That's your gross pay. Or they say gross income. So <clears throat> has to be this guy. The amount of money you have earned before taxes and deductions. After tax deductions is take home. Before tax deduction, it's gross income. Uh, 
and see what is your debt to income ratio if your monthly income is three thousand six hundred take home pays twenty eight oh eight and your debt payment is eleven eighty eight well these are the two numbers we care about gross debt so that's going to be my debt divided by my gross income see what that is at 0 0.33 which after I multiply by 100 percent will become 33 percent and in the way Correct. So again, remember this this will be total debt over gross income. And gross is before deductions. And with that, we are now complete with the Lesson 7E preview questions. Hmm, where'd it go? There you go, preview questions. And with that, now uh, you should be able to now effect effectively now do your preview assignments totally with the questions on your own, and then get the credit for it, get the points for it. By completion of that, uh, do you do you Stephanie's tutorial to get you through the workbook uh, portion of Lesson Seven E? And once completed, make a PDF copy of it, put it in the Dropbox uh, for what's my credit score, and I'll look it over real quickly. And with that, you should then be ready to do the 70 practice assignment, which is going to be online, which will be online, like everything else. Ooh, one question, real hard. Okay. So with that, good luck, and I shall see you shortly. I mean, not so surely, to discuss 7F.